It started with me telling Pete that I wanted to write a rock opera with guitars, drums, an orchestra, multiple vocalists and a choir. The problem was, I cannot write lyrics, I have nothing with words. So I asked Pete that he should do that, write the words for this opera. And his answer to that, his reaction was, I think we just determine what our next Sote album will be. We started thinking about a storyline. Like all Sauté lyrics, it had to be dark, so this should not be an exception, it's what Sauté stands for, dark. So, Gerdon asked me to write lyrics for an opera. That means we need to have a long story, big concept and multiple characters. Which also means I have to write for characters. It starts with the prophet as a vision of a world that's overpopulated, which of course this world is. He dreams about that, uh, of a world with less people on it and he tells his friends which introduces the manipulator, one of his friends who hears his story, his vision, immediately sees how he can use that to control other people. For that, of course, he needs tools. One of the tools is the hand of God, a malleable person who can be tricked into suicide. For that, also a character is introduced being the bomb tech, the one who provides the technical means for this movement to get what they want make of the world what they think it needs and then for love interest of course we have to introduce a female being the partner to the hand of god controlling girlfriend who now sees her control being lost to the movement led by the manipulator So here we arrive at uh, my home studio where I do all my composing which I started off in parallel while Pete was writing his lyrics. You see here a bunch of um, guitars, 12 string acoustic, a Godin nylon string electroacoustic. Uh, you see my Slater 1PHB guitar, a Jose Ramirez flamenco guitar. This is an electronic kit that I use for some uh, quick recording, some quick drum riffs for composing purposes. Behind that there is a rig with old stuff that I actually don't use anymore. But selling is, uh, well, you know how it is with our gear heads, it's just not an option. Down here is uh, the computer optimized for audio processing so a lot of CPU power a lot of memory multiple hard drives separates for OS and audio this is my guitar rig where the core is a Marshall uh, GMP1 tube preamplifier 
which goes through a TC Electronic G Major effect processor. Uh, above that you see a, an old, a really old uh, Roland uh, GP8, which I use for compression only. And this is then the sim track, my guitar sim track, with another old Roland thing, the GR50 guitar synthesizer that I nowadays only use for uh, guitar to MIDI conversion. And that's then fed into a Yamaha Motov uh, rack uh, synth module. from my house to Pete's house. Today will be our uh, first uh, recording uh, session for the, the drums. As you can see it's a typical Dutch landscape. No mountains, no nothing. Just a very small road. Menno denkt na. Nee, nee, nee. Menno, Menno! Ja. Oeh. <laughs> en, weet je het al? Nee. <laughs> Second day, recording drums. We're now checking uh, the results of yesterday. This is it. Sounds great, eh? Okay, third recording day for drums. We're ahead of schedule. We're starting song number seven, which was planned for tomorrow morning, but it's early enough, so we start it now. Um, this is just the beginning. We got another 30 of these kind of sessions coming with violins, jelly, viola, way too much brass and then our own instruments of course, the bass and guitars, what it's all about. Choir. Choir? Yep. Choir. 
Oh bloody hell! Choir. And more bass and guitars. What it's all about? <laughs> Perfect strike. Ho 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 ho! Wat begint er weer? Niet. Seven. Seven or seventy? Seven. Feels, feels like seventy. Feels like seven. <laughs> <laughs> Menno warming up. La last, day last day of drum. Last day of drum recording, you mean? Yep. Last day of drum recording. So, how, mo how much songs to go? One song to do. Only one. Only one. Is it a long one? I don't know. It's a long one. Yeah, it's a pretty long one actually. Okay. A lot of work still to do. <laughs> Where did he go? And then it was time for the orchestra. Since we could not and still cannot afford a uh, complete symphonic orchestra, and I'm sure they could have recorded all parts in one day, uh, we had to do 
with a couple of friends and record the instruments one by one. So eventually I wrote parts for um, uh, first violin, second violin, viola, uh, cello, double bass, uh, oboe, bassoon, French horn and power brass being bass tuba and bass trombone and some trumpet here and there. There was a special role for the orchestral percussion. I love the sounds of timpanis. And I also write parts for taiko drums, Japanese drums. However, we could not get our, our hands on one and we tried to fake it by using a bass drum and then play it with sticks. But that did not sound as we wanted, wanted to sound. So at the end I re-recorded the taiko parts uh, with a sample that I played uh, using my uh, my electronic kit Unfortunately, we do not have any footage of all recording sessions. We even lack the recording sessions of the vocalists, which is a big shame, but anyway. Nor do we have anything about the choirs. We required a, a German choir um, somewhere on an island, somewhere far away. And, uh, I was not there, Pete recorded it. It sounded like an interesting session, but unfortunately no footage of that, so I can't show you anything there. But, uh, so, yeah. Considering this morphing, we now have to skip, um, skip those, meaning we jump immediately to the end of this making of. It took Pete quite some time to post process all of the audio parts and make it one large coherent sounding piece of music. I guess that that was by far the largest chunk of work. Can you imagine Pete sitting behind his computer, going through hundreds of tracks of audio, listening, filtering, correcting, tuning, day after day, week after week, oh my god. Um, I, I was happy that he did it. Having done all the mixes, which you saw was an incredible track count for most songs. I think the smallest song had only 60 tracks and uh, the largest one, as you saw, about 180. 
but we got there in the end so now we're finally at last stage being mastering we're now gonna polish everything to the maximum I think we've made a product here an album that we can be really proud of it was an incredible amount of work it took I think over five years to make which is way too long but it was worth the work having said that I don't think we'll do it again or do we?